Hey everybody, it's Bill from Squid Nation, and uh, it's Sunday morning. We just finished an incredible 23rd International Billfish Tournament of El Salvador, and uh, we're sitting on the Monique. Uh, that was the boat that I was uh, fishing with this weekend. Uh, we were very fortunate. We had 88 sailfish releases, and we ended up uh, taking first place in the billfish division, and it was a great, great event with uh, some, some wonderful friends. Uh, we're going to talk about the setup that we were using this weekend. Um, pretty, pretty standard uh, Pacific sailfish setup. Uh, we, we use two dredges. We, we like artificial dredges. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute. But uh, our, our standard uh, dredge is a squid dredge, which is uh, 39 squids uh, in 13 chains of three balled up. And we use a Squid Nation dredge bar here. And this is, this is a it's not a fancy name, but it's a fancy color. This is called the 665 squid. And uh, you can see in these clear parts, the UV additives that are put into these squids that uh, absolutely turn this thing electric blue when it goes in the water. Uh, and, and there's a lot of flyers around here, so that helps. Uh, they kind of mimic the flyer. Uh, it's got a squid body, but really it's, it's looking like a, a ball of flyers or, or sardines or something like that um, when it gets in the water. Uh, this comes off of the dredge reel, which we put right in that corner over there, and uh, we fish it about 125 feet back on a pulley system, so really it's about 70 feet, 65, 62 and a half feet behind the boat. Um, we troll about seven and a half knots, and uh, th this week I think he was trolling about seven and a half knots. We had a lot of flatline bites, which uh, is a tribute to the boat more so than anything, uh, the, the, the boat raises fish. And uh, they, were, they were not afraid to come in and attack these things. Not this one, but the one that we lost. We lost a dredge, unfortunately. I wanted to show you that dredge. Uh, that had a few squids missing. That means that they came and they ate, they ate the squids right off of the dredge. But anyway, uh, we troll this thing uh, off the outrigger, uh, about a third of the way up. And using 600 pound mono on an LP reel, electric reel, uh, and we were using eight pounds of weight. Uh, weight depends on the type of boat you have, the amount of prop wash you have, the speed you're going, the seas, the size of your dredge. There's a lot of reasons why you switch weight. So you should always have a four, six, eight, and 10 pound dredge weight. Uh, the, the dredge weight runs about this far in front of it, uh, in front of the Squid Nation dredge. And um, it should run right below the prop wash. You should be able to see it from your bridge with no problem at all. And this thing lights up like an electric blue ball. So you're, you're not gonna have one problem seeing this guy. Uh, we saw fish, even, as, even down here on the transom, we were able to see fish come to the dredge and, and yell out that uh, you know, there was a fish on the dredge and then we bring the dredge in. Uh, accompanying the dredge, uh, we use a teaser. And the teasers that we were using this week are, are uh, kind of our flagship product, which is our Squid Nation Flippy Floppy. And uh, Kali, the, uh, the, the captain and the mates, uh, Coco and Teco, uh, they, they kind of devised a, a way to alter the, the, the flippy floppy for, for, for ease of use. Uh, 